I'm Emily, an LRI from the New England First District. And I'm Mark, an LRI from the First New Michigan District. The electronics are a super critical part of your robot, and inspectors are there to help ensure that the electronics are done correctly and safely. Teams, check out the How Do I Keep My Robot Running video from our friends at Andy Mark for best practices. Let's start with the battery. All batteries must meet the specifications in R601. Inspectors will ask teams to see the batteries to ensure that all are legal and they are all insulated per R607. The battery must be attached securely to the robot per R606. Let's talk about the main breaker next. The main breaker is the on-off switch of your robot. It is critical that it is placed such that it can be safely accessed to turn off the robot if needed. Check out R612 for additional details. Next up is wiring. Inspectors will check the size and color of all wiring and ensure it is appropriate for the circuit breaker used. To facilitate this, teams must make sure that their power distribution device can be made visible for inspection. Moving on to the robot radio, which your robot uses to communicate with the field. Inspectors will ensure the radio is the correct model and wired appropriately to stay powered throughout the match. A similar check will be done for the Robo Rio per R615. Whether or not you're using CAN for motor controllers, inspectors will check that there's a connection between the Rio and the power distribution device to report current measurements to FMS. This provides data to control system advisors to help teams if any issues come up. R617 has additional details. Next, inspectors will check to ensure you are only using approved motors and actuators and motor controllers. You can find a list of these in R501 and R503. Finally, inspectors will check to ensure the frame is electrically isolated from the battery per R611. To check this, teams should unplug the battery and then turn on the main breaker. Then the inspectors will check resistance between each terminal of the robot power connector and the robot frame. Teams, make sure you turn the robot off before you plug your battery back in. Thanks for watching this video in the electrical section of the inspection checklist. Be sure to watch the other videos to learn how the rest of the inspection process works. Good luck, and we'll see you at the inspections.